Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at each of the stocks that have the highest upside potential from each of the major indexes. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is she talking about? But earlier today, I did a video on how to access and utilize the indexes page on tipranks.com. One of the features from these index pages is that it shows the stock within each index with the highest upside potential. So we're talking about the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at the stock from each of those, see what is going on with them lately, and what analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to download the mobile app for tip ranks. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest analyst ratings, market news, and manage your smart portfolio on the go. All right, now let's get right into these three companies. We're gonna start off with the highest upside potential from the Dow Jones. And as you can see here from our tip ranks index page, the stock with the highest upside potential within the Dow Jones is Nike. Nike trades under the ticker NKE and is currently priced at about $133 per share. They also pay a dividend with a yield currently of 0.82%. On the tip ranks smart score, they come in with an outperform rating with an eight out of 10. This is due to very positive tip ranks investor sentiment, increased hedge fund activity and positive technicals. Now I am going to assume that most people are somewhat familiar with Nike and their business. So we're not gonna waste a lot of time going through what it is that they do. I'm gonna jump right to their latest earnings report that came out last month in March. Their third quarter reported revenues were $10.4 billion, which were up 3% compared to the prior year. However, analysts were expecting $11 billion. They did see their Nike direct sales at $4 billion, which was up 20% on a reported basis, but their North American reported revenue declined 10% due to supply chain challenges, including global container shortages and US port congestion, impacting the flow of inventory and timing of wholesale shipments. Now, despite some misses in their earnings report, one analyst says that Nike stock has not finished its run yet. Analyst Jay Soul reiterated his buy rating, noting that Nike remains his top pick for 2021 in part for its exceptional growth outlook. He argues that Nike's much better than expected earnings per share were more compelling. He also highlights that gross margins increased in the quarter ahead of company expectations, and that its EBIT, or earnings before interest in taxes, margin was 60 basis points higher than any third quarter margins in the past decade. Now, just in the news today, Nike has launched a refurbished sneaker program. This news comes as fashion brands are facing increased scrutiny about their impact on the environment. Their program will give a second life to returned shoes, and shoes that had been returned within the 60-day window will be refurbished with tools to make them look like new or gently worn. Those items will be marked with information about the renewed shoes, and they will be priced based on style and condition. Returned items that don't make it back on the shelf will become part of the Nike Grind program, which destroys merchandise so it can be used to make things like rubber flooring, outdoor courts, and other shoes. Nike Refurbished is launching in 15 stores across the US, but will expand to others. Taking a look at the analyst consensus on the Nike stock, we have 19 current ratings. And it does come in as a strong buy. Based on 18 buy ratings and one hold, the average price target of $168 would be about a 25.5% upside. With a lot of those ratings coming within the last month from several five-star analysts, a lot ranging between 20 to 30% potential upside, and on the high end, we have one price target with an upside of 41%. Next, we're gonna take a look at the stock with the highest upside potential from the S&P 500, and that stock would be Viacom. Trading under the ticker VIAC, it's currently priced at $40.77 per share, and it also pays a dividend with a current yield of 2.35%. It does come in with a neutral rating on the tip ranks top smart score with a six out of 10. It does have very positive tip ranks investor sentiment, but some bearish new sentiment. Viacom is the entertainment company behind very popular channels such as BET, Paramount, CBS, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, MTV, and many more. Now you may have noticed on the stock chart there that the Viacom stock took a sharp plunge in the beginning of April, and this has a couple different factors behind it. 
So that drop-off in price began back near the end of March when the diversified mass media conglomerate announced the pricing of its 3 billion new stock sale. Viacom plans to invest the net proceeds from the sale in its streaming services. However, the tough competitive landscape and execution risk is keeping investors on edge and led to the sharp sell-off. It lost about 28% of its value in three days. Now, unfortunately, that sharp sell-off got them tied up in the whole Archegos Capital management fiasco. As this led to the hedge fund selling 30 million shares of the VIAC stock in an apparent move to liquidate the fund, thus exasperating the fall in the stock price. One analyst, John Tinker, sees reason for optimism ahead, and that the Viacom stock was on track to snap their losing streak as their risks remain well known. John Tinker upgraded Viacom shares to a buy rating as he acknowledged that Viacom is still late to the game in streaming and competes against well-managed competitors like Amazon and Netflix, but the company's management team, led by Chief Executive Bob Backish, probably understands these problems better than anyone and now is managing a single company, an unlikely idea only one year ago when previous acting CBS CEO was still in place. Now overall, the analysts are more mixed on the Viacom stock. And with 22 current ratings, it does come in as a hold with six buys, nine holds, and seven sells. The average price target of $60 would be a 48% potential upside. The most recent rating came in from Morgan Stanley just yesterday with a hold rating, but still an upside potential of nearly 23%. The highest on the board comes from Benchmark Company with a $120 price point for a 195% growth potential. And last, but certainly not least, we go to the overview of the NASDAQ 100, whose stock with the highest upside potential comes in as Baidu. Trading under the ticker BIDU, they're currently priced at $215 per share. And on the tip rank's top smart score, they come in as a 10 out of 10 for an outperform rating, with very positive tip rank's investor sentiment and very bullish news sentiment. Baidu is a Chinese multinational technology company specializing in internet-related products and services and artificial intelligence. It is one of the largest AI and internet companies in the world. Their stock did see a decline from February due to some of the pressure on tech companies, as well as in March with increased regulations from the SEC for Chinese companies. And unfortunately, they also got tied up in the Archegos capital management fiasco. And similar to Viacom, who we just discussed, when the highly levered Archegos was unable to meet a margin call, banks seized their assets, including Baidu, and sold them off in massive blocks, accelerating Baidu's plunge. After the plunge, investors may feel like they're getting a bargain. Still, Baidu has generally disappointed investors over the last few years, as growth hasn't kept up with other large Chinese internet giants. However, Baidu is also one of the leaders in AI and autonomous driving, which could lead to future growth. So definitely some risks associated there. Now there is one Morgan Stanley analyst who recently took part in an investor call with the CFO. And the key takeaway is that AI investments made over the past decade are gradually bearing fruit. And the three growth engines, mobile ecosystem, AI cloud, intelligent driving, and OGI bode well for sustainable long-term growth. Other key takeaways included the company is exploring cross-selling opportunities to expand the number of customers in the long term, and initial investments and early adoption will still eat into margins, but it foresees a 40 to 60% margin for mature cloud projects. Now there are 17 current analyst ratings on the Baidu stock. And it does come in as a strong buy, with 15 buy ratings and two holds, the average price target of $353 would be over a 64% growth potential. The most recent rating coming from Morgan Stanley 12 days ago has an upside potential of nearly 40%. On the higher end, we have several price targets over $400 from a couple months ago that would be an 85% increase. So all of these stocks have seen some volatility in these last month or two, giving them that room for some impressive upside potential. I think these will be good ones to keep an eye on, watch for some more recent analyst ratings, and see what direction they start to go. Of course, I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave your thoughts on these three stocks in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Any investment decision needs to be made based on your own research and due diligence. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you back here next time.